Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you are all doing well. This is going to be your love reading for the next 24 hours or so. This reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please do hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. This is a channel for Virgos only. Okay, so if you would like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click on that link and that will take you to my booking site uh, from which you can purchase a 30 minute or a one hour phone call reading. Okay, um, and I am able to do readings globally from all over the world. So I know I've had some people asking me about Australia. Um, my time zone is Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so if it's it should be on there, but if it doesn't show up on there, you're going to have to just deduct. <laughs> All right, so we're taking a look at your person's energy here. It could be reversed as well, so please remember that. Um, past, present, and future energy. Now, it could be somebody you recently been dating, somebody from your past. Um, but if not, listen anyway. You never know what might show up. Okay, if you can't think of who in the past, let me see here. Hmm. Get the love messages. Okay, separation. Time apart from your partner was on the horizon. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. I just want to put these cards out here. I forgot to do them in yesterday's reading. And then we'll deal with those when we get to it. Okay, let's take a look. So we do have Sagittarius, double Scorpio, death and tower, um, temperance. Okay, for the major arcanas, but let's take a look and see the past energy, the tower, something shocking in the past now. Not exactly sure what that was, but there was some kind of an upheaval or some voluntary changes. There was like this, um, something. So not always can the tower be a bad thing. It can sometimes just feel like a bad thing. Um, for some, I just heard somebody had to leave a friendship to go fight some fires or had to leave their childhood home to go fight some fires. There might have been a reconciliation with someone that you had in the past and then they had to leave. I just heard to go fight some fire, some kind of destruction or a building, something here. And that just came to me out of nowhere. Like there was some kind, I feel like some of you were getting to know, you and another person were getting to know each other and then something catastrophic happened in the past and you had to separate. Hmm. Some of you met your soulmate or this person feels like, you know, they met you and maybe you started dating or there was something going on where there was this energy of coming together, but then it was like, now, for others, this person might have been um, doing something. I, I just heard like some kind of rescue thing or something, and you met them there. Okay, so I'm not going to keep going on with that. That just feels more like a qualifier. Let's take a look and see what this tower energy is, because... Um, I'm picking up that... Um, Oh, somebody came in like to rescue. There was a, did they, somebody came in to rescue you, rescue you from something? <laughs> it's very bizarre. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh, the eight of swords with the tower. There was like a trap. All right. That's the storyline. Spirit wants to go with the storyline. Somebody was trapped. <laughs> or maybe you had something happen and, and this person might've been a military police or, fire or rescue or something you had something happen and this person came <laughs> almost sounds like superman and lois lane i don't even know but there was an energy of like i feel like 
damsel in distress or somebody who's in distress. Okay, let's take a look at this. It's so weird how these readings come out, this Knight of Swords. You know, it doesn't have to be a catastrophic, like, physical thing. It could very well have been, like, a situation that happened. Um, and your person, I feel, was trying to help you with something in the past. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune here. All right. Wheels are moving. This person, that feels very much like this person, if you were going through something in the past, um... And you guys separated in the past. This person, whoever they are, was coming in to help you. And it was like taking quick action. Uh, it was like a turning point. It was almost, It feels like in the past, it was like it was the very thing they needed to come in and help. Because that Six of, Pen or Six of Cups, this could have been somebody from your, you, you know, from your past returning back to you in the past to try and come in and help you with something. It almost feels like there was a purpose. Hmm. Let me just get this six of, oh, look, Seven, oh, three of swords. Yeah, I feel like Virgo, you were going through some kind of heartbreak situation or something. Maybe this was a friend or someone that came in and was trying to like bring you kindness and help you and you know you know like counsel you even or give you good advice or but this person like i feel like their intentions were really good and they really wanted to get to know you and deepen this bond maybe you some of you might have had to separate from something or something collapsed or fell apart or something, you were in a distressed type of a situation and this person came in to try to help. But they didn't just come in like, oh, okay, let me see if I can help. I'll get back to you. This was more like either they got on a plane, train, automobile, a horse. I don't know. They came rushing in, try to help you with something. Like they, Basically, the message that I'm getting in the past is... This person tried to be there for you, and maybe you guys separated while you were getting to know each other or something happened, okay, which is bizarre. So the present energy here, you deserve love. You were lovable. That was in yesterday's reading, and also honeymoon. I feel like um, in the present, when the time is right, this person is going to try to sneak away with you. Um <laughs> You know, that Ten of Cups there, wow, this person totally loves you and wants to try to support you in some way, Virgo. And they're trying to be very patient. For some of you, this could just be a friend that maybe you don't realize that this person's got like a thing for you. <laughs> um, or maybe you do know. Let's take a look at this... Um, temperance card because this is like divine timing for me with that temperance card like love is coming right and they're waiting for the right time because she holds the two cups for the two of cups it's like the angels behind the scenes making things like finding a way to blend you two together like you know it's kind of like when you're cooking you know you're mixing up the ingredients like the angel is bringing you two together this is divine love here coming into harmony with one another you know coming into balance but this person is kind of like being very moderate with you some of you might already be in a relationship or this person is but it's like I feel like they want to run away and like spend some holiday time or just go on like a pseudo honeymoon or something uh, or spend some time with you. I mean, could this person be cheating? Well, it's possible. People do it, you know, or they just are not happy where they, I feel like, I mean, for this person to like go all out to try to help you with something, you know, it very well could be that they're trying to sneak away, but let's look at the temperance here. 
Yeah, Ace of Swords. I feel like this person is going to communicate with you. And, you know, some of you might be in relationships. And it's like, this person comes to tell you, you know, you deserve better than what you've been in or better than you deserve. You're lovable. You deserve the love. You deserve to be treated well. <clears throat> okay. Um, I will though say with the seven of swords, it is kind of deceptive, um, but it's done. It is a bit manipulative, but it's done kind of like how when you get up in the morning and brush your hair, so you manipulate your hair so that it will look nice, like the intentions are good. Okay. <laughs> yep. Eight of cups. This person is hoping that you like separate from maybe family or a marriage or a relationship that you're in so they can get some time with you to try to like give you how they feel or explain to you that they don't want to rush things, but they give you some truth. Aha. Hello, Emperor. <laughs> um, this person is coming in with this Emperor energy. So that's Aries energy. <clears throat> Excuse me, but they're coming in with like very above board, honest, full of integrity, truth, dependable. This person's reliable. So this could be someone from your past um, or a friend or someone like that. Uh, maybe they're telling you that the person that you're with, they want to, they don't want you to be with that person anymore. <laughs> You know, mm, Knight of Wands. They're gonna also tell you that the person that you're with is just trying to have passionate one night kind of thing with you. Um, although, you know, I mean, you're gonna have to like really sort that out if that's the truth, because I feel like somebody. <sighs> from your past or whoever this person is, you know, some of you might have a decision to make. <clears throat> okay. They might, you might, but I also feel like this person, um, they're so crazy about you. It's insane. This person may even travel to your home or they may even leave the person they're with. And they may tell you that, their person is with somebody else and they just they want to they just need a vacation the eight of cups is like temporary separation you could meet this person might be in separation right now they may have been in separation from um somebody else in the past when they came into your life and you guys are getting to know each other i feel like they still are in separation and they want to spend some time with you and enjoy time with you gosh <laughs> Let's take a look at the future because that's really heavy. So healing family issues and worth waiting for. So there's a need to forgive a parent or parents. Um, but divine timing, I mean, this card, that's what I feel like is going on here. Look, they're both the same with the angel wings. You know, this is temperance again, divine timing and worth waiting for. Um, I feel like two people are being brought together. <clears throat> it's like kismet. Um, okay, let's see. Here you go with the two of wands, a waiting energy. This person, you know, if you're with someone or if you just are not sure or you have family involvement and stuff you got some stuff going on i feel like this person wants to try to give you as much emotional support as they can in your life um but i feel like they're not going to press you because you may have some things that you have to like heal or work on family issues maybe they do Okay, vice versa. But this person feels like this relationship is worth waiting for. And they they feel that you've got some heavy burdens or stress or exhaustion or stuff like that going on. They'll wait for, for things to change. 
they'll wait for that transformation and to have that ending and a new beginning with you. They don't want to push, but they do want to tell you the truth, Virgo. Let's take a look at this Two of Wands. Okay, King of Pentacles. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some of you might be connected with um, another Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn as well right now, or talking to one. Um, but I also feel like the person, they're waiting in the sense where they're going to stay very stable, right? Or you could be dealing with, a, yeah, like I said, a, another earth sign. But they're going to show, like they're going to patiently wait. I feel like they're going to put something out there to you going forward um like maybe travel plans or going forward or ask you to make some kind of a decision or a choice but i feel like they're gonna wait if this is your energy for you to process things because they kind of sense that you need to do that because you're very practical and grounded like virgo i don't feel like you really want to get involved in any kind of dramatic relationship if there's like an ex situation that's still ongoing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Sometimes when I continuously talk, it vibrates, <clears throat> whatever's in my throat comes up. I don't know if you guys noticed, a lot of readers have that issue going on. Um, talking is like exercise in itself. I should have like Olympic gold medal <laughs> for throat muscle building i don't even know what to call it <laughs> um so let's take a look at the ten of wands okay yeah another two weighing options here they're going to wait for you to make your decision uh, or you know they know that you have a lot you're juggling you have a lot of burdens juggling a lot of responsibilities you're exhausted you're stressed they don't want to put you put more stress on you virgo um but they do they will patiently wait. The King of Pentacles is definitely a waiter. He does not rush into anything. Let's take a look at this death card here. Okay, the Four of Cups here. Yep, look at this. Look at that boy there. The love is coming in. This person will wait for you to like accept the love offer because if the four of cups in the reverse would definitely be like a new option new outlook or direction but in the upright it's more or less like feeling unfulfilled um, they know that the connection that either you're in or the family situation or whatever's going on in your life is very unfulfilling right now um, and they want to be the one to sweep you off your feet and continuously be your um super girl or super boy <laughs> you know um but they understand that this is going to be something for you that you're going to have to work through on you know like you're going to have to make those changes so this is a very interesting read i'm going to pull some love messages here um it's funny sometimes how things come out or you both are in situation ships or in relationships that neither one of you is too sure about or one just got out of one and one is still in one or vice versa however it resonates for you you can just leave a comment below what your situation is but this person definitely feels like you deserve to be loved and cared for i'm hearing the right way you know because that emperor comes in as like an alpha male or female it doesn't matter um the emperor is basically like he's got all elements of the kings you know and he's very well respected and very strategic you know and a good father figure or is exemplary in his behaviors and actions he he is someone who will respect you and care for you okay in the upright now, some of you are like, well, my emperor wasn't like that. Well, maybe he was a knight of wands. And maybe you just wanted him to be an emperor. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. Yep, I can't stop thinking about you. 
Okay, just so you know, the emperor also is um, not just Aries, but it, it is Mars energy. So it can also be uh, Scorpio energy. So I will tell you there's a lot of Scorpio on here. So a lot of you may be, you know, connecting with the Scorpio. Um, it's heavy or they, the, the person has that heavily in their chart somewhere. Okay. However, I try not to, when I mention signs, I want to focus more on the energy of the signs. Because if you don't have this person's zodiac sign or their natal chart, you probably really are going to just throw the reading out the window, but don't. Um, the signs mentioned are only for those who are like, absolutely, that's me. But if that doesn't resonate for you, don't even sweat it. Okay, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. <laughs> wow, Virgo, this person, look, that's twice. I can't stop thinking about you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Like this, Virgo, oh my gosh, you're like on this person's mind 24 <laughs> 7. My goodness. I remember every detail of that day. What day is that, Virgo? Please comment below and tell us what day you came closer than anyone. Wow, Virgo. There's something about this connection that this person seems like they're, they would throw everything away or give everything up to be with you. They couldn't let you get close to them. Okay, for some of you, that is because there may have been somebody else you might have been getting to know this person in the past and then they had to rush back to someone in their past or an ex or someone they were dealing or still in separation with that they had to handle things um, and then you guys just that might have stopped because they may have had responsibilities somebody else in their past but it seems like they're they still like want they want you <laughs> and that doesn't have to be an ex it could have just been like a family member or a friend or um, maybe a daughter or a son or a child or something like there was a, a reason to separate okay it was my fault but I blamed you I don't know who that's for but I'm gonna leave that right there I feel you leaving me behind okay you might have walked away and just gave up on this, but I feel like this person is going to be showing back up again. They love you unconditionally, Virgo. You, it just feels to me like this person is just in love with you, Virgo. They're just in love. Let's take a look at some charms. So happy I brought the charms back in your reading. You guys really seem to like them. Okay, we have um, a ship's wheel. Oh, and we have an airplane. Travel, travel. Travel, travel. I think I said that in the beginning of the reading. Traveling by boat, airplane, horse, <laughs> um, train, whichever it might be. This person is trying to come back to you. Maybe they live at a distance. Maybe they're a captain. They pilot it. Maybe they're like an airplane, airline pilot, or they fly planes, or they do something on boats. Um, could have been military as well. It might be a plane, like a trip coming up. Or you recently were on a trip plane and you're you came back. <clears throat> or they want to like go on some kind of honeymoon, or maybe a cruise. Could we talk about that planning? I know that the world's getting crazy again right now, but um, oh wow! So we have a shamrock, right? No, we have a four-leaf clover, a gold four-leaf clover. Somebody has this as like a paperweight, a four-leaf clover or something. It might be engraved. This is this is like a lucky charm. This could have something to do with Ireland or someone's Irish. Um, or from Ireland or is in Ireland um, and then we have the word love okay and that's like transcribed so maybe you have that written somewhere on your body or you're writing it with a pen or um, oh 
This could also be Philadelphia because the city of brotherly love has L-O-V-E right there in the city of Philadelphia, right? That just came to me. So maybe somebody's from Philly or has recently been there, okay? Um, hmm. I want to get one more. Oh, oh my goodness. This looks like some kind of a cathedral. Now it looks like Rome, uh, or it could be the Vatican, or it's interesting because I don't really say when I look at this, but I also feel Washington or some kind of palace. Uh, I just also heard like somewhere in... Um, Somewhere like Germany, France, Spain, um, Denmark, I heard, uh, England. Very important, like prestigious kind of either a government building or and very old building. Oh, this could even, yeah, this could be William Penn. I'm just picking up Philly energy here with this. Somebody's flying to Philly or flying from Philly. All right, I'm going to leave your reading there. Very interesting read. Come back tomorrow. There'll be another reading for you. I hope you enjoyed that, Virgo. And again, if you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below the video. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on your way out. And I will see you guys later. Bye.